Hello everyone, welcome back to some ninjas. Hi, we're ninjas. Yep, we're going to be starting the first uh, main area of the game, which is going to be the uh, populated city. Now here's a cat. <laughs> well, it's a city, they are everywhere. No, there's not going to be that too many, because uh, they've been stolen from us. These buildings are protected by high-tech tripwires, but you can wreck them all with a simple Tripwires? I didn't seem that bad. <laughs> Shit. Ooh, death lasers. Not a good idea. I kind of forgot he just literally exploded. Yeah. Interesting in that regard. Oh, that's to easily disable the power with our bamboo darts. Another laser. The main I think. Oh, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. The main transformer should be I'm not I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying your method of demoing stuff this time. Yeah. Hmm. Is this going to kill me? I hope it doesn't. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of a barrier up there, so we'll go around via the ventilation shafts. Watch. The alarms switch off when the guard walks past them. Or when he's dragged past them. Ooh. Or, you know, exactly away from the guy's heart. <laughs> She's kind of bloodthirsty. Yeah, she, she, she likes to kill him. <laughs> a couple of uh, furries on why that is, but uh, that'll be for later. <laughs> But, uh, might as well distract him just a bit because a seal encourages us to destroy lights. Ooh. So, is this your favourite level? <laughs> um, it's a, it's a pretty good level, but, uh. I just, I just went due to the light encouragement. Yeah, I do like that he encourages you to say, oh, yeah, yeah, destroy as many lights as you can. But uh, I'm not going to be destroying all that many because we can progress through the entire level and uh, just break as many lights as they expect you to. So uh, we're just gonna disable everything. And then uh Then kill him now? Of course. I thought so. What, what, why would we not kill him? Killing us gives us points. <laughs> the only way the only point when you're not killing people is when you're not killing people the entire level so you get a really big point bonus. Ah. Otherwise, otherwise you might as well just kill them because you just get points. Sorry, I don't know why that was so funny to me. I'm just casually murdering every guy I see. Oh, just for some reason, the way he just lobbed his body into the lasers, which is funny to me. Well, we have to deactivate him somehow. But anyway, we need to get to transform in under a minute, so we need to be fairly quickly. So I'm going to show off my elite skills by uh, jumping between places and not killing anyone. Because that takes time. But don't worry, there's a way around that. Is it double back afterwards and murder everyone? Well, once we get the seal, which is down now, we don't actually get a checkpoint, which means I can go straight to research checkpoint and we're back to the start again. Ah. But we still have the seal. Ah. The transformer. Cool. So that is quite nice. And also you need to be careful we're actually clicking. Be careful. Because I meant to destroy the light, but I accidentally uh, jumped to the uh, thing instead. So you need to be not there. There we go. Distract him. Now the killing can begin. So let's explore this area more uh, in depth. Because we kind of just ran past it. Explore the area and the guard schools more in depth. Oh yes, definitely. Because at the moment we are kind of limited as to how we can kill guys, it's mainly just sneak up behind them and murder them. Because once you've played through the game as much as I have, <laughs> which is uh, 75 hours in Steam. Wait, really? Yes. Oh, I th damn. I th this is like my fifth playthrough throughout the entire game. Jesus. I I played this game a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I've gone, I've gone, I've gone for new plus, new game plus, like maybe three times, I think. Huh. But uh, yeah, you get used to thinking, okay, I can kill a, I can kill a guard through this way or through this way, and at the start of the game, it's like, oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. You literally have to walk up behind them and kill them. Oh, anyway, this guy is standing in a nice spot where no lights will find him, and then we just got one left. <laughs> I mean, I purposely go the wrong direction just to show that if you do accidentally do it, you still kill them, but they make a lot of noise while doing it, and they have their own unique animation as well. Yeah. So, since we've got the quite few unique animations, of course I'll be showing it off. <laughs> Painfully murdering them. So far, so good. Just trying to get a bit of um, variety in now, while well, there's not that much variety available. Yeah. And we might as well destroy some lights here, because why not? Then we destroy the transformers and make the lights all turn off. And all the lights outside where we just were, all, the spotlights were all turned off as well, and everything will be all dark and stuff. Ah. Cat. 
Cut. 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 Then we got ourselves. Eh. <laughs> a noise maker. It's all right. Uh, I didn't remember those being super away, super useful. Yeah, I think this is like the only time we do it. It's good to distract the guard if there's no lights around. But there's a light around here as well, so. Yeah. So it's just a few extra points, I guess. Which is not a big deal. So that's a, you can get around that if you don't want to kill him. Why never would you want to kill him for? And uh, this doesn't seem too bad. Oh. <laughs> but it doesn't actually take up any health, thankfully. So we could do that all day if we wanted to. We seem to jump up and uh, take it out. Mm -hmm. ah, I love taking out power boxes. There's so many. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that shit. I need, to, I need to destroy that one, because Nikki is going over it. I need to do it for the points. <laughs> Always do it for the points. No, he's like, I didn't even need to break that one. I did it anyway. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to destroy that light. Then, wait for him to walk past. Then and destroy yeah. that light, so he's turning the other direction. So then we can stick up and kill him. I think I heard and then I'm, I accidentally go into that one again. With the, huh? It's a little bit annoying, the controls, but I'm a bit, I'm a bit fiddly. I, I think it's coming, I think I've decided that comes out through the nose. Hmm? Like, I'm pretty sure you pull the sword out from the nose in that animation. Possible. We've got quite a big nose. But anyway, hidden around in the levels, there can be some challenge rooms where we do some uh, things for a ray scroll. I remember these, it was pretty fun. Yeah, and I do practice them just beforehand, so I'm not going, uh, what do we do again? But some of them do get quite tough. Yeah. But uh, we just need to find a way to get to the scroll. So we turn off the lightning also to put down the lasers. And then box pushing, yeah. That's what we need in a stealth game. Sweet. Every game needs more box pushing. It's true. Yeah. Put that on to there. Push it on. This one, of course, is uh, very simple and very easy since it is right at the start of the uh, game. Yeah. But uh, we don't need to do that. And also, try not to run too quickly across that. <laughs> but we need to make it so that it blocks these lasers instead. Makes sense. So now we've got a clear way towards the uh, scroll. We need to go up and around. And <laughs> a bit closer. There we go. And you can also run when you're on the uh, kind of laddering kind of thing. Yeah. Know, the hooky things, which is something that I'll do. Something I don't think Let remember me too much. tell you the stories of the birth of the mighty Husumu clan. But uh, we get a few story times. We've got, we got ourselves, depending on the symbol of the uh, scroll, will depend on what story is being before. told. I see. Tetsuji. So we've got the origins of the, uh, of the leader of the clan, then how the clan was created, and then just usual, you know, stuff that you should do and stuff like that yeah. when you're a ninja, you know. You know. <laughs> Here is how to ninja correctly. Yeah. And so far, Tetsuji seems like he's quite the guy, killing 500 guys blindfolded. Hmm. That's, that's not easy. I've tried. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can only do about, like, 20 or so. <laughs> then the police start coming, and it gets a bit awkward, you know. So is that your officer? I can't really see, sorry. <laughs> These guys might as well be blindfolded. Ooh, see how I twisted that in. And also, that was an accidental uh, thing, because sometimes I do accidentally go the wrong way, my mind just goes, and I just... You don't really know your left and right. Yeah, it's, it's a bit difficult. So I have to, like, you know, put my hands up, you know, put the L shape, you know, okay, the backwards L is my right hand. Uh, always have a bit of trouble. Oh, Toshi, um, he bled well. <laughs> the blackout is working. While the guards fuss over that, we could slip right by yeah, them. Yeah, no one's going to so quickly. Yeah, we could slip past right them, but, um... Destroy the light. Murder. Because, I'm sorry, man, but your life is not worth a cat statue. <laughs> oh, my. Uh... And I guess we can slip right past them. But, uh, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Need to be close enough to the pistols. Yeah, I was, this, there was a little bit of um, fumbling there. Yeah, and also, I get seen. That's annoying. Due to the uh, lights coming back on as you progress through the level, the lights will turn on just after you. Guard down. And then, uh, guard down, guard. Need to go kill you. <laughs> Someone's gonna kill you anyway, but God. 
<laughs> because you're coming at your leisure, which is just ruins the whole experience, really. Yeah. All that goes on. We need to wait for the spotlight to go away, and we can jump over it easy enough. There we go. That's fine, we can distract him. What was that noise? Murder, murder, murder. <laughs> But it's fine. It, it just allows me to show off all as much of the levels as I can, Cap. <laughs> every time. Yeah, every time. Because it's good to really just explore around, and also the, the, the levels are quite expansive in their own way. Yeah, but I think, yeah, normally when you go through, and you only see the sort of one path through, though, because yeah, because you have to avoid the guards. But since I'm murdering all of them, I, I can just waddle around as I as I as I please. It's exploration facilitated by bloodlust. Yeah. So, so where well, if I explore more, I can kill more. If I kill more, I get more points. If I get more points, then I get more honor. <laughs> there was no guards around for the uh, moment. But, uh, I'm not 100 percent remembering these rebels, so I'm a little bit cautious just in case. Yeah. But, uh, got another guy there. Just gonna wait for just a little bit so that we can break the light. So he turns around. And then he gets sort through his back and door throat. Yeah. Give a nice little hug. But we need to come this way anyway because. A man in black rags was spotted on the ground. I was? Well. <laughs> Master accepts any student I'm slacking. to uncover him. But you know, my mother gave me these rags. And also there's a um way you can you can save yourself there if you if you drop down for some reason. I'm not really sure what that's for. But whatever. Mm. Okay, in we go. To a fairly tall tower. Hessian's troops are scouring the grounds. But we can sail right over them. Meet me on the... I think I heard something. I forget. Uh, hate when that happens. But since the checkpoint was very recent, it's fine. The checkpoints are pretty handy this year. An insane perfectionist. Yeah. So if we're going to turn the power back on one floor at a time as you go through, but um, if you're quick enough, you can get through the floors absolutely no drama, and everything will be fine. And I'm not going to that grab point because doing that actually does a little bit of noise, and if the guard is close enough, he will hear it, which is annoying as hell. But uh, it doesn't factor in too many times. Yeah, but normally it tends to be a bit higher than head height. Yeah. And also, don't go to that room immediately because the guy will come. That's a bit sneaky. That's fine. He doesn't come too close. So when he turns around, smash. Honestly, all these lights on. So much simple wish of it there. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> you know, darkness is good. Darkness I mean, is your friend. I mean, it's an evil corporation, right? I mean, yeah. Are they like meant to be patently anti-environment? I have no idea, but they're not really given much uh, characterization. No, I, no, I don't, I don't mean this company specifically. I mean generally evil corporations. Yeah, just having lights on all the time, killing some baby whales in the basement, you know, the usual. Yeah. <laughs> Turning the power for 16 back on. Cool. You, you have fun with that. Huh? I heard something. Yeah, yeah look at it, this. And then I accidentally went the wrong way, and unfortunately, a guard hears him. And then sees me, and I accidentally. I tried to drop the body down to the uh, thing, but I was a bit too far fingers. Which is annoying. But anyway. Let's do this properly so that he doesn't. Yeah, that's annoying. So they didn't start screaming. I know, I hate, don't you hate it when we do that? <laughs> that's the thing, he's the only other guard on this floor as well, which is annoying. Hmm. At least the resets are pretty brisk, so. Yeah, as we get further into the game, the. Uh, the actual uh, checkpoints will get a bit further out between, but it's not too bad because by then I'm the master of this game, can <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, my new game, pass new game plus pacifism run when uh, I can show off my elite skills of um, resetting like 20 times in one level. <laughs> oh boy, can't wait for that. Now then, uh, this on. level's a little bit of a. Uh, Thing because there's quite a few uh, security systems as well. Hmm. But if we're quick enough, we should be able to get through with uh, no problems. And we were quick enough, I guess. Yep. There we go. 
You don't have to worry about any of those alarm systems. Uh, that's one of the only floors we really have alarm systems in this tower anyway. So we could go further on and go to the uh, room above, but that's just a load of alarm systems. It's not really all that great. And we're at the final floor, so let's just kill some dudes. And then he's standing there, as we see by our little sensors. We can kind of see uh, where guards are stationed in a way. Yeah. It's kind of good on that regard. You can see quite a lot. Yeah. You can also see the footsteps of the guards, and uh, even when you can't see the guard itself. And if you could see where a guard was for a few seconds, uh, then he'll have he leave like a heat signature view that will be on the screen for a few seconds as well. Yeah, thermal ninja vision. Yeah. So it, it, this game really is styled around for you know knowing where uh, things are at all times. It's really good about that. Just like just sort of like the Arkham games. Uh, yeah, which but is a good. pretty common comparison point. Yeah, those are quite good stealth games in a way. I mean, I kind of, the comparison's drawn a lot between this and the, this and the Arkham series, and it's a pretty deserved yeah. comparison because in the stealth situation, you have like the clear advantage in both games, but then as soon as you oh, get yeah, spotted, it's kind of. I mean, you, you see how many guys we're slicing through. Yeah, is that basically yeah. But I'm going to come in here just to show off the Haver alarm for a bit to get through, but we'll just do it just to destroy the lights and then we're done. Cool. And we're pretty much done with the level. And we've also done all the seals as well, because we got through without being detected. Is that, that's basically always a seal, isn't it? Hmm? That's basically always a seal, isn't it? Uh, most likely, yeah. We made it into the complex. This way. <laughs> And then I, I killed everyone. <laughs> They're all dead. Yeah. And we got enough points. And we got ourselves some honor. Which I think we should be able to start spending next level. Yes. Thank God. Karajan must be close, but we still need to locate him. 